morning, you guys. Today is, I think it's day 11 on the trail. It's a Saturday. We went to uh, around the bend hostel last night that shuttled us into town and I was able to pick up a new pair of shoes which I'm hopeful for. They're Merrells. They're kind of like the not a boot but not a tennis shoe or not a trail runner. My hair is looking crazy. So, I'm hopeful that they will do my feet better than the trail runners. So, I can tell that I have a pair of a Njinji sock liners and then I have a pair of Njinji socks on top of them. So, I can tell that my left foot, which is the ankle that I broke last year, it's a little uncomfortable. We've hiked not quite a mile yet. Most of it's been uphill. I think the real test for these shoes will be the downhill because that's where the trail runners really just kill my feet. So we'll see. I know there's a breaking in period too. So probably the more I wear them, the better they will get, I hope. Merrells are pretty good shoes, so we'll see. But we're headed up to, uh, where are we going? Well, we're gonna try to make it to Bly Gap, but it's supposed to be like 19 degrees tonight. That's what I've heard. And uh, we just left out of Dick's Creek Gap. And so, we'll see how far we make it. I think Plum Orchard Shelter is like 4.5. And uh, that's where I wanna go. So we'll just see how my feet feel when we get to the shelter. And if I feel okay, we'll try to make it to the next shelter, which I think is at eight something, or make it to Bly Gap. Gap, which is the Georgia-North Carolina border, basically. I would like to make it to the border today, but I also don't want to make my feet feel like they're gonna fall off. So we'll see. But I'll touch base with you guys later and let you know. It's been relatively easy today. Um, we've been on quite a bit of incline, but uh, it's not been extremely tough incline. I say easy, it's not been easy. It's just been easier than what we have been walking over. I should be getting close to the shelter. I really thought that I would have already been there by now. I went ahead and sent Chicken on. And let him hike with some other guy hikers. I just told him to meet me at the shelter. And boy, it has taken a long time for me to get to the shelter. <clears throat> but I'm doing it and in my new shoes my feet are hurting so uh yeah but I don't really feel like they're hurting as bad as they would be if I was in my ultras really kind of like pain around my toes and it could be from my toe socks. So maybe tomorrow I try wearing regular socks instead of toe socks. I'm going to get this foot thing figured out 
and pray for wisdom on how to make this work. Also, laying on the trail was that blue guy and people kept passing it, not picking it up. So I picked it up, even if I leave it in a hiker box. I mean, it's a free mat and it was in the middle of the woods. So it's my free mat. <laughs> I'll, I'll do whatever I'm supposed to do with it, I guess. So here's a gap, maybe. Maybe that's where the shelter is going to be. I guess we'll see. There will be some time today spent right here with my feet in that water, for sure. We're at Plum Orchard Shelter. Well guys, this is a different. Um, I'm gonna be showing you the shelter whenever you're around. I'm not gonna film anybody <laughs> without asking them, but let's go ahead and get started with this tour. Um, over here you have the bear box, so this is an a eh place for a bear box. Not too bad, but might could be better. If, if it wasn't right here, then it could be a little bit farther back that way. Um, other there could, cause then this could be a nice tent place right here. But enough of that. Um, this, and then you have some nice, nice uh, old trails from when they built this and then uh, some, and then, uh, some old camp spots that are pretty rocky, so that kind of suck the camping. Um, and then there, the trail's right over there. Right there, to go to the water. Unless you want to go back up the trail also. But, uh, ooh. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the shelter. Um, and this is a nice fireplace. Oh, they also have nice stick for fire and then her stuff and then there's dumpling <laughs> oh, you made it. Mm. i made it so there she is how you doing oh and then uh, yeah and then you have a uh, nice picnic table so but i feel like they did this on purpose so you could have a step stool to get up here um and then there she is again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And then up here, uh, you just have a nice place to lay or do whatever. If if you wanna have some mice, if you wanna if you wanna say hi to the mice. And I don't then, wanna say hi to the mice. And then um, if you go up here, so they actually have nice windows. I don't think I've ever seen a shelter with windows. Yeah, the last one. Oh really? Oh, that might be a little, uh, sorry if, uh, if it's a little bit inconvenient for y'all to watch, but that, that's pretty much the upstairs. Oh, man. It's pretty inconvenient for me to have to try and get down off the, off of here. Okay, well, back there, there's some nice camp spots where everybody's camping. Oh. Okay. And then privy is this way. I'm, I hope I didn't. Um, um, and then this is the trail down to the privy. The privy is over there, but you know, of course, always gotta take a tour of the privy, even if it's <laughs> even if you've already been to it a thousand times. We just step over this log and then. I don't really want to video anybody that I'm not supposed to video. Hope I hope I can. Um, 
But this is the privy, of course. Everybody knows what the privy is. Is a little weird bathroom. But, you know. You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. But, uh, that's pretty much it of the tour. So I will get back with y'all. Whenever. Signing out.